hello everyone so welcome back to another tutorial and today i'm going to show you how to create a website with godaddy hosting and to get a best deal on this godaddy hosting visit my website smarthelpguides.com slash godaddy slash coupon code and this link will also be in the video description so once you visit, uh, arrive at this page uh, simply click on this button click to use godaddy coupon code or follow the latest instruction provided on this page and once you click here godaddy website will automatically open in a new tab here and the coupon code will be applied then scroll down and select the web hosting plan For this tutorial we are going to use the shared hosting plan and uh, this is ideal for small blogs or small websites godaddy also has wordpress managed hosting so if you are interested in this i already have created a tutorial about it so you can watch that the link will be in the description and on the video top as well just click on learn more and from here click on see plans and pricing so you can select any plan you want depending on your requirements so the best would be this economy plan because uh, with the 12 months plan you get a free domain and email so domain is basically a website name like google.com amazon.com uh, youtube.com etc uh, so simply click on add to cart with this you can host only one website so make sure that uh, you need only one website for more you will have to select the deluxe plan so right now let's just add this plan to our cart click here and from here um, you can change the duration so to get the best of offer select the 12 months plan at least you can select longer term plan as well um, the free domain is only available with the 12 months so i've selected this and then just uh, click here scroll down so you can skip this um, we do not need this uh, backup uh, ssl certificate is necessary but um, you can use cloudflare as a workaround so it depends on you if you need it um, personally i would not so uh, because it seems a bit expensive and then uh, just click on continue now to claim your free domain name just enter your website name which you want for example i will select first wp guides to Dot com okay so just click on submit here and it will check if this domain name is available right now if it is not you will have to again search a different variant of your the domain name so since it is available so i will click on select and continue if this is the first time you are making a purchase from godaddy you will have to create an account here and it's really simple you just have to provide your personal information email id username uh, you want a password and then click on create account then you will have to uh, fill your billing information here and then it will take you to the payment page so since i already have an account i will simply sign into my account after entering your billing information you will see this payment screen and here you will have to select your country your credit card information and then simply leave the payment so after completing the payment i will show you the next steps after completing the payment you will see a screen like this um, confirming that your order and total amount here you can also view your receipt and all this detail will also send to your email id so you can check those details later then wait for a few seconds or minutes till the setup process is complete and once setup is complete then we will move to the next step if you see a screen like this um, just ignore it right now because we have already bought the plan so simply go to my account here on this page um, just scroll down because as you can see i have multiple products in my account so this is why the setup process was not properly able to connect the hosting and domain so just scroll down it should not uh, ideally it should not happen with you because if you have created just a new account but if it, in case it happens just go to my account section here and simply just um, you will see the plan i just bought uh, this is the web hosting so i will simply click on set and here you will have to select domains because i have multiple domains here you will have to select the correct domain so in this case i want to use this domain that i just bought so we'll just select here and then you will have to select the data center so select the data center which is closest to your office. so for example i will select asia and then 
create a WordPress. Then here, um, just select yes, let's do it. So just select uh, your username. And then select a password. Then click on next. So this process will automatically install WordPress on your server. So as you can see, um, it is showing that uh, our new domain we just purchased is not ready. So we will have to wait 10 minutes and then everything should be set. So I will resume the video after 10 minutes and show you the next steps. So it's been like 10 minutes and now let's refresh this page and see if our website is ready. Let's refresh this. Okay, so now as you can see, onboarding completed successfully. Now you are ready to build your website in minutes. Now let's go to dashboard. And I will cancel it. So as you can see, our shared hosting plan has been set up completely. You can see the plan details here, your cPanel login information, your primary domain, and you can also log into cPanel from here. Just click here and it will directly log you into the cPanel. So now let's go back to GoDaddy dashboard here. And from here, let's visit our website and see how it looks right now. Right now, when we try to visit our website, it is showing us the domain parking screen. This means it is not currently pointing to our hosting server and it happens when you buy a new domain name. So the domain name server update process may take some time. So what I would suggest you to just wait for a while and then uh, refresh this page and see if it is loading the WordPress website we created after waiting like 30 to 40 minutes and clearing my PC's DNS cache. Uh, I will try to refresh this again and hopefully now the name server update process is complete and it will point to our hosting server. So let's refresh this and you can see now our website is loading WordPress. So this is our WordPress website we just created and you can see it is working properly. Now let's log into the WordPress admin area. So to access the admin area, all you have to do is remove slash, uh, remove everything after your domain name and add slash login. Then press enter and you will see a username and a password. Then click on remember me and click on login. On the screen, you can see all the starter templates provided by GoDaddy completely for free. So if you like any template, you can select it and preview it. Just click here. So from here, you can see how it will look and how this template will work. And if you like any template, you can click on the start with this template. And then you will have to select this options and then click on finish setup. So else, um, if you do not like it, you can go back to that page here again. And you can also filter this templates by categories for online store also, there's a different tab. But I would personally not use this template because usually it do not works properly. And I will manually select a different theme and set up my website. So what I'm going to do is use this option, use default WordPress. And yes, I'm sure. Uh, I will just, no thanks, I just want to accept. All the settings related to your WordPress website, uh, including creating posts, pages, theme, appearance, plugins, everything will be uh, available in the backend dashboard area of WordPress here. Now, if you want to design your website for your blog or you want to create an e-commerce store, you can watch my other tutorials available in my channel. The link to those tutorials will be in the video description and at the end of this video also, it will be on your screen. So that's it guys for this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, do give this video a like and post your feedback in the comments how I can improve this tutorial if you like this video or not.